Hey guys, this will be another update to the Bitcoin Trading Journal series. Uh, today's date is uh, Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. And I just wanted to expand on the uh, volatility idea I, I mentioned in the previous uh, video. So right here, you can kind of see where the we have our, essentially our narrowing range on Bitcoin. Um, you could mark it up better by analyzing this high and this low this higher low relative to this low, this lower high relative to this high. So we can move these off the charts. That's really the uh, higher order um, range if you're looking at it from a volatility perspective. Now you can go down to a four hour chart and you see it, we kind of, it starts to narrow within that, uh, that higher range. So we got this level here, this level here. You can even take it down to a one hour. So you kind of see how that there's your four hour range. And um, so price comes down below these lows and then rallies back above these highs right here. Um, so that's a, you know, a relatively significant uh, break of structure. Comes back down and then you can get in on the 15 minute. And so you have this uh, newly established range here. See how we're kind of going from the just the high time frames down to the low time frames, just to really get down to the center of this range. We even see the same pattern occurring here. Um, price comes down below these lows, rallies up, takes out these highs right here. Um, so this is the level you could have used as a risk management area. You know, again, this is a 15 minute chart, but it's still valid. Price is price is price. Um, I was already in a long trade, but if I wasn't in a long trade, this is how I would have framed a long entry on today's price action. So I see this uh, break above here, get right above there. I can enter on that level, so it hits just perfectly. And I could use the same level as a uh, risk management area. Um, so essentially, if I, you know, if, if uh, invalidated on the trade, uh, you know, I can, it's, it's just a scratch, a break even trade. Now, if obviously if this level gets hit, it doesn't invalidate the macro picture. Um, but if that happened, then, you know, you just get back in another trade. Now in my current trade, I'm, you know, in a, uh, based off a little bit more macro of a trade, at least being, uh, based off more of a high time frame idea. Uh, so I've got my stop down right below these lows here, but again, that's, you know, relatively tight in the greater context, uh, kind of looking for volatility to expand upward. All right. So this is, uh, pretty much the time where we sit and wait um, with volatility crushed as much as, as it is currently. I, I doubt we have to wait much longer. Um, but yeah, if you like this content, just like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be, uh, we'll be posting more trading journal videos. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for future uploads.